recently on Scrap Mechanic, I've been trying to scratch a little itch that's a little bit pointless to do on one hand, but it's just to try and make mining a little bit more fun. What I'm trying to do is design a vehicle that, as you can see here, can pick up and transport the rocks to what I hope to build like a stationary plant, which will then do the processing. So far, I think I've got the plant nailed down, and it was the easiest part of it, and I'll show you a little bit what we got here. So I just basically drop the rock off, and using a system of a load of wheels connected to a controller, it'll just pull that rock into a load of drills, processing the rock, and at the other end of it, we have the resource collector, and then we get the resources. Awesome, right? Now the problem that I have is actually collecting the rock itself, because they're always on these stupid hills. There's no easy way to simply push around and pick it up. The easiest thing that I've found that will pick something up is actually by using two sets of wheels spinning in a lifting direction so that it actually picks it up as you see here. The problem that I have started to face is there's no constant in the friction. Sometimes you'll be able to pick the rock up, sometimes you'll pick the rock up a bit and it will start to slip other times you just won't be able to pick it up at all. But the plant system is the thing that works. Now don't get me wrong, I'm also fully aware of how useless this would actually be in a game of survival, because you have to blow the nodes up in the first place, and it's easy to do that with a drill. At the moment on this example, you'll see that I am using the explosives. Using the explosives is just an easier way that we can just bring the size of this rock down into a more manageable piece. Other than using explosives, our other option is the drill, which, as I've already mentioned, renders the rest of it completely and utterly useless, because if you're going to use a drill, you might as well just drill it all down to the rods and just collect the rods. But I don't want to do that. I want to kind of make the game more fun, add another element into it. It's all well and good on a creative game where you can just trial and error and stuff and blow things up like this. But on a real game, I hope to have this more of a fixed location and I'd like to be able to transport all the rocks in a sort of trailer. And what I'm trying to work out is what is the best method to be able to pick up those rocks. I've tried many things and this is so far what I've come down to. But as you'll see, it's also a little bit problematic because stuff just gets in the way. So it's trying to find that balance between a little bit of fun and unnecessary engineering where we can just grab pieces of rock to lift them up to take them somewhere versus well it's easy just to stick a drill on the front of a machine and just drill something through arguably the amount of wheels that it uses especially in this bit of the factory it is going to be sort of mid to late game because it's a lot of building material that would be better off using in other areas but for me it was just trying to inject that little bit more fun if you could even say that you know that little bit more extra engineering for engineering purpose and so far this is like i say where i've got to i need a system that uses wheels in order to lift the rock off the ground but i also need to work out how i can pick this rock up at the minute i have to approach it from a specific direction now maybe i could add something onto this current design that enables the grab to spin. Maybe I just make the grabber bigger. I am undecided at the minute. But I just thought I'd share with you guys and ask, what are you doing on Scrap Mechanic in its current state as we're yet again continuously waiting for chapter two? And this is what I mean. As you see, I end up losing that one side completely around the top. And the only way to rectify this is to put the machine back on the lift and pick it up. But it was just a little quick five minute kind of job. And I kind of enjoyed the outcome of it don't know how practical it'll be in survival like I say because there's a lot of stuff going on here that you know you'd need elsewhere but for me it scratched the niche and I just I don't know I just enjoy building this kind of stuff there's something about heavy machinery when it comes to this kind of work like diggers excavators cranes this kind of thing that I really kind of enjoy so I just kind of wanted to do that and replicate it and just try and add a little bit of fun to my sort of game so the grand idea behind it was basically to allow automation at the same time as having a manual input. So the automation part is the processing plan and the manual part is the messing around, picking up the rock pieces, driving them, taking them to the plant itself, letting the plant process it. In the meantime, I can then go off and try and get another piece of rock. But as I've already said, no two rocks seem to be the same. They all behave slightly different. 
Some give me more of a headache than others. I mean, look at this fella. He's managed to get himself sideways. Don't know how, but in the end, he's still stuck in there. The cage system still works. So I'm able to take him off to the plant, drop him off. And then that gives me a little bit of time to go shoot off and get another one. It's certainly not faster than using a drill to just drill through everything. And fun, I suppose, is dependent on your own definition. But for me, it's this feels like what Scrap Mechanic is about. It's about engineering stuff to do stuff. It's about engineering a machine to do a job. And ultimately, sticking a drill on the front of a vehicle is the easiest way. If it's stupid and it works, it's not stupid. I mean, the argument here is it works. It's kind of daft, but if it works, it's not stupid. I'm able to zoom around and pick up some rocks. It's just taking those teething issues of how to actually combat how the rocks are when they're on the ground. Ideally, I'd love to be able to build a big grabber that could pick up two or three of these things at once and scoop up and underneath them. But unfortunately, because they're on the hill, that's a little bit tricky to do. This is the system that I've come down to so far and hopefully I can tweak this a little bit more which will help me pick up the rocks and then I can put them, like I say, into like a, a low loader or something so that I'm able to then just take them back to what would be base, drop them off and find a way to run them for a processing plant by tipping them out of a trailer. So I might end up with like a little dump truck and a weird little digger, but I don't know. We'll have to see what I can come up with. But now I think this is a direction that's worth exploring. And I hope you're having fun whilst we're waiting for chapter two. I know it's a little bit tedious that they keep saying that it's coming soon. And they did mention that they hope to get it out by the end of this year. There's no guarantee, so who knows how long it might be. Keep having fun out there, guys, and I shall see you again next time.